Hello everyone, welcome to Mary's Little House of Centerville. And welcome, we, Pina and I want to welcome you. Pina's got his belated Easter hairdo. Here he is, he's very, uh, they, I interrupted his nap, I think. He was almost sleeping on my, on my leg. But here he is, he got his grooming, uh, his, his belated Easter hairdo. He's, he's a really good dog. He wants to be with his master all the time. Uh, uh, and listen to his uh, or fall asleep during during the YouTube presentation. So I'll let him do that. During th this weekend, we had a very very stormy weekend, and we had hailstorms. The poor peanut didn't know what to do. I, I hailed them during the hailstorm. It was beating on the roof. Here's some of the pieces of the hailstone. I go, it's they're stuck here. Hmm. Anyway, can't you see them? They're they're on the bottom of the of the sauce dish here. Oh geez, they're stuck on the bottom. There, there's one of this got like a hole in, like a round thing. This is more like a ball. Oh, this way, yeah, like a ball. They're they're that that big. They're that big. Uh, uh, the hailstones, and uh, it costs one of my dearest families that around here uh, got their roof poked holes in it. And, and the water came through and caused damage. And a priest friend, dear friend of mine, also had his windshield, his car windshield broken. Fortunately, nothing happened to our, to our, uh, to our Mary's little house. Uh, and uh, and Peanut had, was a little afraid though, because the, it would really pounded hard. It like, oh, like, uh, or like, I don't know, like, pe really coming down on us okay oh um happy uh saint joseph the worker day this is the feast of saint joseph the worker i'm going to speak about him later but i want to greet you on that may 1st uh about saint joseph that'll be our main topic of this youtube but i also want to wish you happy month of the of the blessed virgin mary the month of may is is devoted to the blessed Mer virgin mary how beautiful. She's the loveliest of all creation, of all creation. She's blessed among women. And here the church and, and tradition of and the church has set aside this month to especially be devoted to our Blessed Mother. I'll speak about her later, but, but there are two things for the beginning of it. I just encourage you with your family, the children, to, to have a statue of the Blessed Mother or an image of the Blessed Mother. Uh, uh, to, and, and make a May altar, uh, uh, even with candles if that's possible, uh, uh, and make a May altar, and, and, ha and even try to say the family rosary, or at least a decade of it. Uh, I always remember our attempts to say the family rosary. Remember, I was the oldest of eight children, and so we had a lot of little children who, whose attention span wasn't uh, very long because they're little kids. Anyway, I, I will always forget, remember that in our family, and so not only to make precious memories, but to 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 make May so special. It's all my life May has been so special. Wherever I went to school, at at my Catholic grade school, or at at uh, at the seminary, everything was May was very special. So so May altar and bring flowers, and if you can't find regular flowers, I know. Uh, some of us say, oh, those are silk flowers or something, but a lot of times we can't, so we have to use silk flowers to, to uh, embellish the altar. Yes, preferably good um, uh, uh, real flowers. Uh, the little kids can bring their dandelions and their uh, little daisies they find in the field uh, that, to honor our Blessed Mother. So May altar and, and, oh, and then rosary. Oh, uh, try the family rosary, at least a decade of it. Uh, before Mary in the May altar. I, we have our uh, Blessed Mother on the t uh, kitchen table there, and uh, that's, that's probably where you'll be saying the rosary or whatever, but maybe in another place, a holy place in your house, a little nook where you could set up a little May altar to our Blessed Mother. Uh, so I encourage you to do that. It's, it's so important that we, got, that we just get used to loving our mother, and she loves us so much, and she only brings us, shows us uh, her baby to Jesus. She, Jesus is our life and our way and the truth. And she's the one uh, to Jesus through Mary. 
She's the one that brought that the Father chose to bring us Jesus. She's the one the Father still choosing to bring us Jesus through her motherly spiritual motherhood, taking giving us Jesus. So happy St. Joseph's the Worker Day. Happy of uh, the first day of May. Happy May Day, um, uh, uh, in the month of our Blessed Mother. Before I get into that, I, I, I'm just overwhelmed with so many uh, creatures. Remember that poem uh, that my friend sent me, uh, this beautiful little card, all these creatures here, the, the fawn and the raccoon and, and the squirrel and the fox and the, all those there, pray, praying all creatures great and small. Well, th that this little verse that a novelist, like uh, uh, Mr. Harry Cole, Her Harriet, I uh, wrote a uh, books, uh, all things great and small, uh, and then he wrote other books, all creatures great and small. Um, uh, but let me read it to you. Uh, then I'm going to give you some things we've actually uh, uh, found here by Mary in Mary's little, or in the area of Mary's little house, or are are in the vicinity. All creatures great, all all things bright and beautiful. All creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. And it's by C Cecile Francis Alexander. She's an Irish poet and hymn writer. Okay, anyway, I, I want to just give you uh, some of those great and small things uh, that the Creator made for us, a sign of His love, these beautiful things. They're reptiles. I, I saw so many reptiles because the sun's becoming warmer and everything. They're coming out of their holes. I I saw. Uh, a to I've been seeing toads all the time. I saw a toad today taking a peanut out. Uh, a salamander right in our at the back of door of our garage. There's a sal there's a family of salamanders. They're little, like little lizards. Uh, a, a terrapin, a turtle, a nice big one about that big. Uh, going up Mary's path from 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 our backyard, we uh, almost uh, we go up Mary's path to go to the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Snows. For, uh, I would go there for mass because our van's not working. So I saw a turpin on the on the path there. Uh, uh, it was so neat to see that. Uh, what else did you see? Uh, snakes. Well, I didn't see those today, but we have snakes right out there on our terrace. We, we're living on on a bluff. So all, all all our terrain is is, is sort of tiered or, or going going up to the up to the shrine. The shrine's on top of the bluff. But we have snakes there. And peanut almost I told you that almost stepped on it. Um, uh, I picked them up real fast. Uh, and and also what do we have? Oh skinks. Skinks they're they're like lizards too, but they they look like they're they're aluminum or something. They're very metallic looking. They live in the wood pile right in the in our in our in the Mary's little house, uh, right behind the fireplace there, uh, 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 in the brick fireplace, they they come out they, they, uh, in the uh, in the rot the, the the old wood that's somewhat rotten there. They like rotten wood. That they, they're like little aluminum, but they're it's awful. Like they're, they're silvery looking, and they uh, they are they are uh, skinks are uh, like lizards too. Okay, uh, so the, so all things bright, all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful. The Lord God made them all. The Lord God, wh why did He make them? I mean, He made them for us. He made them to for us to be amazed at, for us to cherish them, for us to protect them, for us to enjoy them. So so I just point that out. We're so blessed to have all these little creatures running around. Uh, Mary's little house. Okay, now I told you I'd, ta I'd talk about St. Joseph. Oh, here's uh, these things I've, I've melted off. You can see they're all th they're three together here. These are the hailstones, and they're dripping on on peanut. Anyway, okay, okay. Um, St. Joseph. Now I forgot that they. I have to look at. The, but but the Saint. I think it's a, a, a venerable pious twelfth. Uh, uh, the communists would have a May Day celebration, and the the, the laboring man, the the and they would ex uh, exalt the, uh, the the, uh, the May Day in, in their atheistic way, and have these big parades and everything. 
Well, in order to uh, contrast that to, to, to uh, the dignity of each human person, uh, because we know in the communist uh, uh, philosophy, every, the state is supreme, and in, in the, in, in, in the person, the human being, is like a cog in the, in the wheels of the state. The state is supreme. But in our, in our philo Christian philosophy, uh, the human being is, is supreme. The human being, the dignity of the uh, uh, made to the human and likeness, hu the made to the image and likeness of God. We see uh, will we'll make him the and and so so we're we're important, not the big state that the communists say. Uh, we're important, uh, and the state is there to to serve us. We are the important uh, part of the thing, not just the cog in the big machine. But and the, which the state uh, uses and dictates and everything, we are the important one, the human being. So, so Pius XII wanted to to show that by having a good example of of of, of labor, the laboring man. You know, the proletariat in the communist thing. That that was the that was the ultimate. Even though they had their own operatives and they had, uh, it wasn't a complete flat. Um, in the communist thing, they had their privileged play people too, and all that. They, they were against human nature and against uh, uh, God and everything. That's why it just imploded. It just communism didn't work because it wasn't true. It wasn't based on on the human dignity of each human person. It wasn't based on ah uh, the 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 the, uh, the uh, God who who gives us. Uh, these these inalienable rights and everything okay anyway so that's why so we every day every may 1st uh, why the communists are marching in in uh, moscow square in the kremlin uh the holy father brings saint joseph to the ho to the floor and and in the image of joseph uh, the holy family oh here oh this is a statue I, the, one of the last uh, articles uh, my Cindy, uh, the foundress of Mother of God Ministries, Cynthia Marie, Cynthia Louise Marie Rollahan, my Cindy, uh, who's now in heaven, uh, she bought this statue for, uh, for, 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 for the ministry. I think she bought it for me, but everything I have is the ministries anyway. This is St. Joseph holding the child Jesus. It's very, oh, it's, oh very um, active. It's all moving and everything, very uh, lock of the lines it looks like he's in a windstorm or something but it's just there's a feeling of great, great love and of, of for, for Joseph and his son Jesus who is uh, who 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 he, he's a foster father or the, or the putative father the father uh, he's uh, not the biological father we know God the father is the father and uh, over and, and she was over Mary when she said yes to the to to to, to the angel uh, to God's messenger, to be the mother of God, uh, the over the, the Holy Spirit, the third person, blessed three, really overshadowed her, and she became fruitful, uh, and she and she conceived the uh, by the Holy Spirit, Jesus, our Jesus. Here's another picture. This uh, one of our ministry gave me this card for birthday card, and she well, the, our our charism is the Holy Family, living a life of the Holy Family. This is called Mary's little house. We um, we call our men to be like Joseph and Saint, uh, and and our women to be like the Blessed Mother, and all of us to be like this with like, like their son Jesus. And uh, so I framed it. I didn't do a very good job of the framing, but this is a, a birthday card from one of the ministries thing, and I just love the card, so I put it in a frame. I get the frames real cheap at the at the thrift store. Okay. So 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 we see how devoted they look to Joseph. That their center of their lives is is centered on Jesus, and that's the way uh, your marriage, our marriage, uh, our relationships, it has to be always on Jesus, and then it will blossom and bloom uh, and and and, uh, and and be fulfilled. Anything else centered, if it's on career or or on just having fun or pleasure or. It, that, it won't it won't fly Wilbur you know uh, it won't it, it won't it won't bring us happiness it won't bring us fulfillment in fact it'll go the other direction okay so 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 the reason why we have this feast of Saint Joseph the worker is because 
to, 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 to affirm the dignity of the human person and the dignity of labor. Labor is not just to, to be a cog in, in a big, uh, in the state, in society. It's the dignity of each person ha has, ha has a, uh, a call to, to use their talents and their energy and their strength to change, to transform the world, to co-create with God, to make this world better. And so, uh, bringing Joseph, St. Joseph, as a model uh, uh, for workers, it's a model for all of us, even not only workers who, who are dig ditches, and uh, as good as that is, our, our, our hammer, our things, carpentry, and all, uh, but also workers in, with computers and with, with uh, workers in scholarship, uh, uh, those think tanks and those researchers, all workers were called to do, contribute to where God, God gives us a mission and talents uh, to, to, to transform, to make our world better. Uh, so, so, so there are two things, like dignity of the human person and the dignity of labor. Now, uh, of, of labor, of human labor. Uh, you know, there were cultures like in, um, in, in ancient Rome and ancient um, Greek, Greece, uh, the, the intellectuals, the people, are the are the rich people. Uh, they thought labor, labor or work was just for slaves, uh, and they and they were abhorred to, uh, digging ditches or washing dishes, or uh, digging ditches, washing dishes or whatever. They, they they didn't want to work. That was not in in the cu old culture, the ancient culture. Work was just for slaves. Well, look at Jesus comes along, and. Uh, and becomes flesh, the second person, of the Trinity, God Himself, and starts working, showing the dignity of work. Well, I mean, it was uh, he he affirmed it. He made he demonized it. He brought it into the incarnation. He 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 made it salvific, saving our works become saving, saving our souls, salvation, and and, and sanctifying, sanctifying as we as we work. And Saint Joseph is the sort of the connection. To that because he worked with Jesus in the in his shop in his carpenter shop and and and, and he is the model for us all uh, uh, and he was the model for Jesus himself the son of God because he had to learn how to hammer and how to plane and all those things uh, from, 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 from Saint Joseph and Saint Joseph is the great model of uh, of of uh, of the dignity of the human person and of, of the dignity of work. And he worked with, with, with Jesus and Jesus sanctified all work. God bless you.